the yards of the big station were in an awful mess. As there was no pilot to arrange the coaches and trucks, the engines had to do all the shunting by themselves, which often meant the rolling stock would be left all over the place. This caused a lot of confusion and delay, as engines would spend far too long searching the yards for the necessary trucks and coaches for their trains. The big engines moaned and groaned endlessly about the situation. Even the fat controller agreed something needed to be done. One afternoon, Gordon and Henry were begrudgingly shunting their trains in the yards, complaining as they did. Disgraceful! Gordon hissed as he buffered up to his express coaches. If the fat controller didn't hand out branch lines every five minutes, we'd have a designated shunter to do this work for us. First Thomas, then Edward, then Percy, and now Duck, added Henry, bumping into his trucks to drive his point home. All this shunting is bad for us. We weren't built to do this sort of work. It's beneath us, my dear Henry, concluded Gordon, and the two big engines puffed away. That evening, Henry was back in the yards. He had to arrange an even goods train. He was just looking for his utility vans when he realised he couldn't find them. Whatever next? Who has the cheek to take my vans? He wished. I do! Peeped a voice, and Henry felt a bump behind him. He looked back and saw that Percy had shunted his entire goods train, vans and all, right behind him. The Fat Controller walked up towards the big green engine. I've heard the, um, suggestions you and the other big engines have made about the state of the yards, so I have asked Percy here to shunt the trains for a few weeks. I hope you'll be appreciative of his efforts. Henry beamed from buffer to buffer. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And thank you, Percy. Percy shunted all the trains for all the engines. Everyone was much happier. But I'm sorry to say it wasn't to last. A few weeks later, a foreign engine from the other railway came with a special train. He was dark green, had smoke deflectors, and had a snooty look on his face. He brought his coaches to the platform, and Percy took them away to the carriage siding. As Percy was finishing shunting some trucks, the foreign engine came fussing into the yards. You there, shunter! Fetch my coaches immediately, I want to get off this circus of a railway. Percy let off steam crossly. Circus indeed! You can jolly well wait now after a comment like that. Besides, your train isn't due till the evening. And Percy began reversing, not fully paying attention to what he was doing. The foreign engine groaned loudly. Shunters on the other railway do as they are told. Well, we're not on the other railway, are we? Percy said cheekily, swerving over the points quickly. Too quickly. Then there was trouble. Percy hadn't whistled to the signalman to change the points. The little green engine was backing up into the carriage shed. Whoa, Percy, called his driver, and he jammed the brakes hard on. Bouncing buffers, called Percy as disaster struck.
Percy had shoved the foreign engines coaches right through the buffers at the end of the carriage shed. The coaches were off the rails and some of their windows were damaged as well as their buffers. Luckily, Percy had stayed on the rails, but his tyres were now flat from braking. The foreign engine was fuming. This railway must be a circus since it has a clan of a shunter like you. Duck arrived with a breakdown crane to help clear up the mess. The fat controller was not impressed with Percy. I thought you would have learned from your runaway to always alert the signalman about where you are, Percy. You've put me in a very awkward predicament once again. I hope you'll reflect on the mess you've made at the works. Percy just looked sadly at his buffers as he was lowered by the cranes onto a flat. The fat controller then spoke to the foreign engine. I have spoken with your owners and we've arranged to have your coaches mended. Meanwhile, you can rest in one of the sheds. I'd recommend somewhere quiet as to avoid any disturbances. The foreign engine huffed and steamed away to rest. The fat controller mopped his brow. Oh dear. The ads are once again without a shunter. Unless... Me? Splattered Henry in the sheds. He wants me to shunt in the yards. Can't he get anyone else to do it? Afraid not, old boy. You're the only engine available. Besides, you're still in steam. But what about the flying kipper? Who's going to take that? Argued Henry. Don't worry about that, said his fireman. The fat controller's arranged a replacement engine for the kipper. Henry wished crossly onto the turntable, preparing himself for the humiliating night ahead of him. Henry was given the task of preparing the evening trains for the others. All the engines laughed and jeered at him. I thought this work was beneath us, Henry. You seem to be very much behind it all, chortled Gordon, as Henry shunted his coaches behind him. Never you mind him, Henry. You're doing a splendid job. I would shunt my own coaches, but I'm afraid I've to leave soon, said Edward kindly. Gordon chuckled away as Henry returned to the yard, fuming all the while. Henry's brakes began to groan and squeak as he carried out the shunting duties, but he stood firm. At last, dawn broke over the island. Henry sighed with relief as he filled up with water. Well done, old boy, cheered his driver. The fat controller will be most pleased with us. Indeed I am, said an old too familiar voice. The fat controller stepped towards the worn out engine. I understand your feelings towards shunting, Henry, but you put your grievances aside and completed the work with little fuss. I am very proud of you. I'm sending you to the works to have your break seen to. While you're there, you'll be given a new coat of paint. Henry whistled delightedly. Oh, thank you, sir. But who will shunt the yards? Percy hasn't returned from the works yet. Just then, the foreign engine came rolling into the yard, with Henry's kipper vans behind him. My tender reek of fish! Disgusting! You there, get these smelly vans away from me! The fat controller stifled a laugh. 
His owners have agreed to make him station pilot while we have his coaches repaired. They believe it'll trim his wheels a bit. Please excuse me as I must go inform him of this new task. Henry steamed away happily. As he did so, he heard a groaning noise. He thought it was his brakes at first, but he could have sworn it sounded just like the foreign engine. 